You know that feeling of seeing a once vibrant and healthy aquarium plant start to melt and die? It's like setting out on an exciting road trip only to find out that you're lost with no cell service and running out of fuel. So, how can we guarantee our plants thrive just like a successful road trip? Well, let's go on a road trip ourselves, shall we? But as we start driving, night falls unexpectedly. Driving in the dark is kind of a pain. You can't see where you're going, and sometimes you're not even sure where you exactly are. That's exactly what it's like for your plants when they're not getting enough light. They're disoriented and lost. Light is like a roadmap for your plants. It guides their growth and helps them navigate their way to become strong and healthy. But when there's not enough light, they're essentially driving blind. You can see this firsthand as your plants will start to grow leggy and lanky without light. Essentially, they are growing upwards to try to find that lone star in the sky. But furthermore, different plants have different lighting needs. Just like how different drivers prefer driving different vehicles. So how can you address this issue? Well, first of all, make sure to do your plant research and provide them with the right amount of light for specific plants in your aquarium. You might also need to take a look at your overall lighting system and gauge if you need to change anything. You can learn more about this through my lighting guide. But remember, it's all about finding the right balance. Too much light may lead to algae growth, but too little lights can also starve your plants. So make sure your plants have the right amount of light to navigate their way to health and growth. But even with the best route, a road trip can still go wrong if you don't have enough fuel. Just as your car needs fuel to keep going, your plants need nutrients to grow and thrive. They need a variety of macro and micronutrients. If your plants are deficient in any of these nutrients, they may start to show signs like yellowing leaves, slow growth, or even death. So what can you do about this? First, make sure you're providing a balanced diet for your plants. This may include providing a nutrient-rich substrate, root tabs, liquid ferts, or all of the above. Pay attention to the signs your plants are showing. If you're seeing signs of nutrient deficiencies, you might need to take a second look at your fertilizing regime. And again, it's all about balance. Just like if you wouldn't want to overfill your car with fuel, you don't want to overload your plants with nutrients. Too much of a good thing can be harmful. But then again, even with a full tank of gas, things can still go wrong if you get caught in this next. Algae are basically cars in a traffic jam, They're competing for your spot on the road, or in our case, a tank. If the algae gets the upper hand, they can easily overgrow and suffocate your plants, causing them to die. So here's a few things you can do to prevent this dumb traffic jam. First, make sure that you're not overfeeding your tank. Uneaten food will degrade into excess ammonia, which can fuel algae growth. You can also consider adding algae eaters to your tank to keep the algae under control. Nails, amano shrimp, razor blade, all those are great options. The best advice I can give to prevent algae is to ensure that your plants are growing in a healthy manner. Healthy plants will overcome algae. Those are facts, no printer. But again, even with clear roads, if you're not maintaining your vehicle, you can be in for some pain. No, this isn't about tank mate, despite that being an important factor. I'm talking more about the overall condition of your vehicle. Water parameters are basically the overall condition of your car. If they're not right, your plants, just like your car, won't be able to function properly. But here's what to look out for. Alongside the big three water parameters, know your water's GH, KH, and pH. All of these can play a role on how well a specific species can grow. If you want more information on this, take a look at this video that I made. But for simplicity's sake, let's just say that you have the best vehicle on Earth. With this, nothing won't go wrong, right? Recalculating. CO2 is kind of like the GPS for your plants by guiding their growth and development as building blocks. Without CO2, your plants may not grow to their full potential and may show related deficiencies. Factors such as surface agitation can alter the amount of CO2 within the aquarium. If you are injecting CO2, this is something to be wary about. Again, research the plants that you want to have. Each species requires different amounts of CO2 levels. Some do not need any CO2 injections, while others do. And just like that, you've made it through the journey. Now you're at your destination. Isn't it beautiful? Now, this guide is a simplified breakdown of what it takes to grow healthy plants. There's definitely going to be tons of potholes on the road that differ from every journey. So don't be afraid to experiment and find what works best for your plants. But most importantly, enjoy the journey. After all, the joys of planted aquariums isn't just in the destination, it's in the journey itself. If you're still itching to go on another journey, I have just a video for you.